This is the Striped Great Scorpion. It is something I just built in for brick walls. Uh, let me go ahead and break this down for you on how to build this. So um, these pieces back here are common foot. The often use these a lot for foot pieces here. And so it's two of them that goes together. Essentially, put down a base. Um, the tail is probably, probably the feet and the tail are to the most, most important spots. Parts, you have to connect the tails. As you can, you can tell what type that piece is. is double gravel, that to the long ball. Continue on double gravel, long ball. And then you eventually have to reduce it. So use one of these balls instead. A, um, a gravel that can be insulted. Then, you know, the insult to gra insult to gravel. Then double, bo double ball. And then insult to gravel. And then we have the tail. Uh, full on, it's about, the main body of it, not including, like, my fingers down about five inches. I'm counting that as the, um, the length of the beast for, uh, stat reasons. Then you have the tail. I'm only counting the tip of this as the, as the weapon because, you know, that's all the part that can do damage on the tail. So, yeah. I mean, hitting with this part won't, won't be considered damage. Just the point. So, yeah. Uh, as for, you know, it's really pretty simple construction on most of this. You know, add some doodad. You get the shaping of the scorpion. Um, so let me get a breakdown of the body. So we talked about this piece. These pieces are pretty common, uh, often used in um, a lot of flourishes and um, often used in a lot of stuff, really. Let me get another angle on that. Okay, there we go. Um, let's see, once you get that in between there, it's just really filling in. Just putting in filler in there uh, to really make sure the this part stays in under pressure. Those are long piece, and then uh, let's go ahead and talk about the front claws, how that how they're connected because that's a pretty big deal. So as you as you see, there is a um, those that red piece, and these are these. This is a common piece I've seen. It has a little ball that comes up, and then you have a little, another one of these pieces that's pretty common too, so I can, I can go ahead and go on that. And um, then you have the back, it's two pieces. Um, well, uh, if you have enough Legos, you probably have a couple of these. Uh, then that these are single, single nubs, two to singles, and then this long piece that goes across the top. Pretty Once again, pretty straightforward. Um, and then you have these pieces, a little, little bit harder to find. Use these pieces as the mandibles, uh, a little bit more convincing on the, um, on the teeth. And then, of course, you know, if it's a creature, it kind of just needs eyes. Just, even though visibly on scope, on a real scorpion, the eyes are a little bit harder to, see, you know, not something you notice pretty quickly. So, but, you know, I don't know, needed eyes, needed, needed, you know, mouth parts. So, Got that from the mandibles. See, then we have then we have um, the arms. So this is get a close up on that. Essentially, it's a top top piece and then a bottom piece, and so we have a the little side of gravel there on one end, and on the other end you have the um, other piece. And in the middle, I actually threw a um, flip that oval. So a little tooth tooth thing. Uh, added that for flourishments. You know, I think it looks nice. So it came right off. I'll go ahead and fix that later. And um, the claws, you can come up with better, better ways to do claws than this, but, you know, ones that actually move. This one is a, um, just a straight up. It looks like a claw. Like, it looks like a little pencil. So... These can close up pretty much like that and hold hold anything in. Say like, go ahead and grab this guy for example. Uh, maybe I'll switch hands. Go ahead and grab him in, and he's got him. Let me put the tail back on. I think I can do it one-handed. I need two hands. Ah, woo! Come on. All right, on. So he's in there, and you just 
Stab him. Bam! You just got poison stingled. Ooh. So he's in there, you know, getting attacked with two claws. And the mandible bite. Ah! Dash him around. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so this is the striped great scorpion uh, that I built. Uh, feel free to build your own vet variations uh just to recap on the most one pieces you know just make sure you get the tail down uh it's pretty straightforward you know try to try to scale it down as you go so you know it's also off relatively thick thin all thin and then like just simple at the end uh this is the way i come up with the tail spike mainly because you know it actually reaches out in front of the scorpion which i think is really important anyway so let's go ahead and get to the stat card breakdown and, um, if we can get going. Alright. Here we go. Hello, guys. This is the stat card for the Great Striped Scorpion. I'm sorry, the Striped Great Scorpion. Uh, let's go ahead and get, get off. It's, it's costing double the double, almost double the cost of a fully fleshed out minifig hero at the cost of 24 so that includes armor weapon and you know any skills that it may have but this is a fully fleshed out battle beast of course uh the size is five almost 2d6 for armor checks movement is eight it has a skill die of four because it is not a, a doesn't have a full mind it's only programmed as in a, as in a trained animal being trained like a dog Simple commands, that type of stuff. It has three special abilities. Uh, one is entomophobia, which is the fear of bugs. So it causes a fear of bugs in the opponent, any opponents who fail to make a skill, ch to make a winning skill check against the great scat, the striped great scorpion. And, um, so once they're affected that they must flee in order to get away. I'll have the entomophobia description up in the link. It just doesn't fit on the stat card at this point. Um too much stuff on the stat card to get in the way. If I can just remove the incompetent part, that would be beautiful, but no, I can't. Um then it has uh stingle poison, so when it's crit when the tail single crits, it will do a 1d4 damage, and if the 1d4 crits, then it will, then the opponent, the minifig will take 1d4 damage additionally on the next turn, and so on, as long as it keep, as long as the 1d4 poison damage keeps critting. And then it has the mandible bite, which, on upon crit a critical from one of the two pinch, pinch claws, um, it'll do, They'll have, it will take 1D, uh, it'll take the one skill die of damage, uh, automatically unavoidable. And so that's, that's basically the covering the special abilities. Let's go ahead and talk about the armament. It, as you can, as I already talked about, it has the tail stingle and pinch claws. Both of those, um, simple close quarter, uh, one inch close quarter weapons. Closest two pinch claws. I'm not counting the mandible bites as a weapon just because the only way you're going to get in that close to mandibles are you getting pinched. So what's the point? Um, see, so we talked about the stingle poison, poison, and, um, as for the training that as it's, as it's been trained, it's programmed to, um, chase and attack targets in an area. We already talked about entom entomophobia and, um, let's go ahead and, Go for the flavor text. So, while small, while small little scorpions tend to crawl into your bed while you sleep, you would be lucky if you don't find one of these looming over your bed while you sleep. Oh man. It actually took me a while to come up with the flavor text on that one, but I hope you did enjoy it. Um, so it does cost double the cost of, you know, the standard heroic minifig. And whatnot, but hey, it's a big bad battle beast. Anyway, so thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Um, if you're looking forward, looking for more videos, you can see what I had, have done the the Claude um, a stack card for a modified Claude Hulkbuster and a stack card for the Bishop Scarab. And anyway, so go ahead and check out those videos. Like, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for more custom builds for brick walls and other stack card brick wall stuff that I come up with. Have fun!